Today, we are gonna solve your medical paperwork mess. Is this what your paperwork looks like? I mean, really, is it like this? Oh, this is in this file and this is in this folder. It's super easy for medical paperwork to be really hard to organize and to keep organized. What we know is that, and what we have for you today is a really easy way to organize it. You're gonna to wanna to stick around to hear, I'm gonna walk you step-by-step step through this process. And we actually have a really cool giveaway because we are gonna provide for free, completely free, like no strings attached to one of our viewers, our PDF Go Kit. And we'll email that to you and it's something that you can print. And it's, it's a really fabulous way to get all of those papers organized. All right, so if you're new here, welcome. My name is Elizabeth Damarandrew, and I'm founder and president of Ways and Wayne, where our mission is to help family caregivers calmly navigate the seasons with their aging parents. We are sisters, we have been there, we have been caregivers, and we totally get it. We get it on all different levels, including the challenges around the paperwork. So we wanted to create something for you that would be a way for you to organize paperwork with nothing fancy, all right? So today what I'm gonna do is walk you through how to create a medical document planner with just the things you already have at home. I'm so excited to get started with you today. All right, first, what I want you to do is pause this video and you're gonna gather these things, basic scissors, some manila file folders. It's ideal if you have a couple that have the tabs in the middle and then a couple that have the tabs on one end or another. It doesn't matter which end because you can always just flip it over and then you have tabs in three different positions. All right. So that's a simple way to not have to have a lot of choices on that front. And then you're going to get a three hole punch. I like this one because it will fit inside a three ring binder. Then you are gonna want a three ring binder. Okay, uh, this one has a lot of room and it has these nice uh, openers, but any three ring binder will work. You probably just want it bigger than like an inch. Then the other thing you're gonna want are these sheet protectors, two or three of these. And then some, this is optional, some clear packing tape and a Ziploc bag. You can use the kind that is press and seal, or you can use the kind that has the little tab with the zipper. It doesn't really matter. And again, the clear packing tape and the Ziploc bag are optional. Okay, so now we're gonna dive in. We're going to set things aside other than our manila files. Okay, the first thing that you're gonna do is you are gonna cut these you see that you have some fold marks here. These are gonna be your divider pages with your labels all in one, but you don't really need this whole section. So you're just gonna cut right along here. You're gonna do that for as many sections as you need. I suggested five, which, which, which would give you five sections. This little extra piece, you're just gonna discard. You don't need it. Okay. Now what you're gonna do is learn from my mistake and um, you are gonna find the middle of this and punch based on the middle. If you just slide this into a regular hole punch, it actually won't fit nicely into your three ring binder. The easiest way to find the middle of something is just to fold this in half and you can make a little score mark with your finger, just push down right there. You don't have to press the rest of it, but that will allow you to find the middle of your file. Then you can line that up with your hole punch right here and you're just going to punch that through and that is going to allow you to have centered those. So you're going to do that. You're going to cut each one of these and you're going to do the same process of folding and punching. And when you're done, you are going to have a whole set of these tabs. Now, what I want to keep you in mind, what I want you to keep in mind is uh, now you're going to title them. And I want you to title them, obviously, in, the, in a way that makes sense. If you bump up the same 
tabs, it's going to be hard to use. So scatter your tabs so that it makes sense. You have some top, middle, bottom. And then when you put them in your folder, I like to do it so that I can read them like this. So I'm going to lay them out and then I'm going to title them. And I have some suggestions for what to title them. So you can pause this video and pull out your tab pages. Just get a pencil, pen, whatever you want, colored or not, total personal choice. This is the way that I have titled mine. First one, medical, and next, doctor, hospital, last day, and wishes, and to do. All right, so medical is going to be where you, I have stored medicines and test results and vitals, uh, also contact lists for doctors, names and numbers. Doctor is where I have notes from doctor's visits. Hospital is where I have notes from inpatient time with answers to questions. And then last day is where I would put information about if there is a plot that has been pre-purchased or a funeral home that has already been picked out, that's where you're gonna to wanna to note those things because you don't wanna to have to scramble to remember that information or find it in a folder somewhere else. And then finally, a to-do. And your to-do is just gonna be related to this. You probably have a different to-do for your family or the rest of your life, but sometimes it's easy when you're at the doctor and if you have this folder, then they say, you know, look up this uh, special cream or something and you can add that to your to-do tab. What I would say is just use simple lined paper in there would be an easy solution for how to fill those tab pages, all right? so. Once you have paused the video and you have labeled your tab pages, good, good job. Look at how far you've gotten so far. Now, what I want you to do is print out a couple of pages, and this is where we're going to use your um, clear folders. Okay, these have the holes for the rings in them. You're going to print out one that says POA, and you're going to print out one that says POLST. These two documents are really important documents to have on hand so that you can help your senior fulfill wishes for their final days. Uh, again, it's not something that you want to have to hunt around for. It's something you want to easily access. So if you have titled these in a really clear way like this, then you can actually just slip those forms right in here and then they are really easy to find. I would actually suggest that you put both of these under the tab of last day and wishes. All right, your POA stands for power of attorney and this would be the medical related power of attorney. All right, you have basically done the core of this. The other two things that I have in mind for you are your Ziploc bag, and your tape. So this is something that, uh, I don't know, it's not super great looking, but it sure is useful. And you know, again, I wanted to bring something to you that would give you just access to materials you have at home that you could pull together in this way. What you're gonna do is you're gonna actually use this as a pocket. And so you want it to be about the same size as your tabs. So what I would say is line it up and then cut it down so that it's not too big. Otherwise, it's gonna be obviously hanging out of your file folder. So, just line that up. Now you're gonna discard this, obviously, and then you're gonna use your packing tape. I have a piece of tape cut here. What I want you to do, I'll move this out of the way so that you can see more easily. I'm gonna lay your tape down here. There we go. And then with your bag, you're gonna line up your bag here. This is gonna do a couple different things. It's gonna reinforce where you're gonna actually cut the holes. And then obviously it's gonna make it so that you don't have an open end to your bag. Oh, look at that. Yours may not be so nice and neat. My first couple weren't. It doesn't really matter. 
Now you are going to cut off the edges so it's not sticky and messy. And then in this case, because my hole punch wasn't very kind of uh, industrial, I found that it was easier to use just a single hole punch, but your three hole punch might be a lot better quality than mine. And then you can line this up so that you know where the holes are and go ahead and use your punch to line this up here and punch right through. You're gonna do that obviously in the three different spots. And then this can go in the very back of your binder to hold receipts, to hold random small pieces of paper, maybe a small prescription, anything that doesn't fit easily or have rings to it and um, you want to be able to hang on to. So that is what this can hold. It can also hold a couple of pens, whatever it is. All right, so you're going to put that at the back. Now, in terms of that big pile of papers you have that you have not yet organized for your senior, what I want you to do, and this is just this is a suggestion for how to tackle it. Once you have labeled all of your tabs, so let's say this is doctor. Lay these tabs out on an open surface. Could be the floor, could be a table, whatever it is. And then when you have your big pile of messy doctor papers, then you can actually lay those out and it gives you a really simple way to sort those. If your pile's huge and it's completely overwhelming, I get it, maybe make a goal of doing 15 or 20 pages a day. And you just take your pile and you count out your 15, I'm gonna sort 15 a day. I'm gonna put those either in doctor, uh, hospital, whatever, it, whatever category it goes into. And then you can go ahead and put those in your folder. So. That is a, just a suggestion for how to tackle what might be a big messy pile of papers. Now, basically what you've done is you have created this, okay? You have your POA and your post form, and that's under your last day wishes. You have your Ziploc bag pocket at the back. And there are a couple things that you can do to make this just a little bit more unique or a little bit more, I don't know, like it's not a super, super exciting topic. So what I found was a pattern and this was actually just a hanging file folder that came in a bunch of different uh, fun patterns. I just cut it down so that it would fit inside this sleeve because why not? Why not have a cover that is just kind of fun or makes you smile, whatever that looks like. So again, I don't know. I think I got these at Target. The other thing you could do is, let's say you don't have anything like that. I had some fun uh, just wrapping paper and I just cut the wrapping paper down and that was on there. So I wouldn't do this one and that one, but just again, you might have more pattern paper around the house than you think and you might have some wrapping paper. You may not want to choose the, you know, Christmas or Hanukkah one, but whatever, whatever makes you smile. All right. So keep in mind that you can cover it with something fun. You can add a title if you want. And then on the inside, what I did is printed out a quote that I really like. This is from Christopher Robin, and it's something that I have always had up around in uh, our home. And this could be a quote from something your senior said. It could be a scripture. It could be a poem. Whatever it is, because when you open this up, it would be awfully nice to see something that is encouraging and uh, makes you smile. The other option you would have is to use something more exciting than plain manila folders. Also at Target and such, they have things like um, fun manila folders. You can do the same thing, cut them down. The only difference is you probably are gonna have to use some kind of sticker so that you can actually see where your labels are. Another option would be on Amazon, they have business card holders uh, that are a clear, like this design only they have little pockets and that would be something that you could uh, easily use to organize business cards for the doctors that you're seeing or you can use them at the back and put things like insurance cards maybe this is where you keep your seniors uh, credit card that they use for co-pays at the doctor whatever it is and so that would be an option to be able to store uh, some of those things all right so now you have a way to take that big pile of papers and make them make sense 
maybe something encouraging, and maybe something happy on the outside. I hope this has been helpful, but we're not done because I want to show you something else, especially if you're completely like, I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't know how to do that. We have an option for you because we've created another version of this that is just all packaged up and ready to go. And that is our uh, PDF of our Go Kit, a medical planner for your senior. And we have, these pages are already uh, printed. There are 34 double-sided pages and it is already organized. So this is a table of contents, a quick start guide about how to tackle this, how to put the inserts in, all of that, more information about what in the world a post form is, this is probably my favorite page. It's thoughts from your senior and basically it's asking your senior to give you a little bit of their, a little bit of their heart about you. Uh, obviously fill it out or, or don't fill it out, but basically you would ask them a question. What do you want me to know to hear from you that I'll always remember? And you can capture that here. This is filled with an essential list. So all key names and numbers. There's a second page that has some more kind of security related information that I would say should be completed and then stored, not in your binder, but in a secure location. And we've noted that there. A spot for health related contact information. We have tab pages, current medicines and supplements, vaccination information, including information for the COVID vaccine, medical history. I'm just going through this real quickly so you can get a sense about how thorough it is. Tests and vitals. Another tab page, you might notice these tab pages are really fun and are really designed to be a way that you can uh, color or doodle because we know waiting in doctor's offices and hospitals, there tends to be a lot of downtime and sometimes keeping your hands busy is helpful. Doctor's visit, doctor's visit surgery procedure. Both of these pages have suggested questions because we know that when you're actually at the doctors, sometimes it's really hard to remember the questions that you had intended to ask. And obviously, since you have the PDF, you can print as many of these as you needed. You can print them double-sided, single-sided. Hospital, we actually have specific uh, sections to fill out here, and then some other just general suggestions. Then we have a particular page for a hospital nursing home discharge, what you need to know, uh, what you need to prepare for. And then last day, again, I was saying about if you have a funeral home or cremation company already picked out, you're going to want that name and number handy. And then at the end, there's a whole section for to-dos, all right? And you can add your other post papers to that, or you can add your Ziploc uh, little pocket if you want, if that makes sense. We actually have a third option for you. If you still feel like a, you don't want something that's this big because this is kind of cumbersome. Um, sometimes papers just need to be filed that are the eight and a half, eleven by si size. But if you want something that's super portable, you probably want to know about this. This is our portable Go Kit medical planner, and this has everything that is in the folder that you just saw, except that it's in this small size and it has pockets already in it. So pockets for driver's license, insurance cards. This I love because these are contact cards that you fill out and you can leave uh, with your senior. Let's say you're dropping them off uh, at a therapy appointment or something. You can give that to the receptionist and she knows how to get hold of you. A pocket for receipts it has this little zipper. I like that little zipper. And then a particular pocket for post and uh, advanced directive forms. So again, this is something that is uh, it feels good in your hand. We have a couple different covers. We have this cover and then we have um, this cover. So again, the idea is that why, why not make them kind of fun so that when you grab it and you're stressed out, at least you have a happy cover to look at. So you can um, order these products on our website, but again, our, my intent is just to empower you to go ahead and be able to create your own medical document planner with what you already have at home and get all of those pages uh, organized. So if you've enjoyed this, please hit the like button. It really is actually encouraging to me. And um, I want to wish you as much success uh, as possible as you navigate the paperwork side of things. Let us know how we can help. You don't have to do this alone. So may you find joy 
and loving one another well.